I uh, started organizing uh, in my 20s and uh, eventually around my age of 30 started a or poor people's organization in rural North Carolina. Um, the largest town was Kannapolis, a little mill town. And uh, it was the first multiracial organization of its kind in the region. But despite all of our successes, including national successes, we began to realize that if we were really ever going to change things for poor people, that we needed to be part of a larger movement. What I wanted us to do is look at movement building and what we needed to build movements in this country that could really be inclusive and hear everyone's voice that was a grassroots movement. My name is Laura Ramirez and um, the reason why I'm here it's because last year's gathering really impacted my life. Um, as a teacher and as an organizer, I have become almost a little bit dis hopeless, I would say, with the education system. So this space really allows me to explore the hope, um, to really delve into the possibility that there are people that can imagine education to be something that's not bureaucratic, that's not just policy-based, and that is not linear the way that our education system is right now. It's important for me, is I think for my sustainability, mm. right? Uh, to stay healthy and to process like the work and also understanding that um, I'm, not, I'm not doing it by myself, right? That there's a, a lot of folks out there that are uh, in the, the same struggle uh, mm -hmm. with me and uh, just getting that type of support. This space and this group of people is, is relationship-based. That that's, that's where it's grounded, that's where it's rooted. And once, <laughs> once you know somebody, once you, once you know the person sitting to your left, the person sitting to your right, and everybody in the circle, that you can have really, really important discussions and feel safe and really feel like you can say what's here so that you can, you can address the things that you're most passionate about. I think what's happening here is just um, our chance to really see, to see a lot deeper, to see a lot more, you know, um, to see the different pieces and to see the relationships between them and um, to actually have a community to work through that with, you know, like some of the conversations today. You know, Maria's talking as a parent, you know, or um, you know, Kison, Kison's talking as like a youth who's been through programs, you know, and, it, and we're all carrying so many stories and so many experiences. So having a space to slow down and just exchange those, share those and come fully, like I think can really transform the conversation around education.